Today, we're going to review the Fellow Ode Coffee Grinder, which I purchased full retail from Crate and Barrel. It has 64mm steel flat burrs. I downloaded a free sound meter app. The baseline for my condo with the grinder unplugged is about 40 decibels. It makes no difference when I plug the grinder in. My ears and my phone does not detect additional noise. That was grinding without beans. Now with beans. Now without the lid. The pitch is a little more high and piercing without the lid. The loudest part of the grinder is the knocker. I will warn you, it's very addictive and it's very loud, so be gentle if there's people you don't want to disturb. The catch cup does a good job of funneling your coffee, even if you're using a smaller brewer, you shouldn't have any issues. You do have to tap out your coffee grinds or else it can kind of get stuck on the bottom. Here's a sample grind on the third finest setting. This is what I use for pour over. On the finest setting, you can hear the burrs touch. You should not use the setting until your burrs have broken in. I'm going to go to the medium grind setting now. This might be a setting that you use for a uh, fellow recommends it for the electric coffee maker. Grinding is very quick, it just takes a couple seconds for 20 grams of coffee, so along with the grinder being pretty quiet, it's quick enough where you really shouldn't disturb anyone in the house, which is a huge plus for me. And here's a sample grind, if my camera will focus. Before grinding on the coarser setting, I just made sure to blow out all the coffee grinds in the grinder as well as in the catch cup. I really wanted to see how uniform the coarser setting these grinds would be and how much fines there would be. There was 0.2 grams of retention, and just out of curiosity, I wanted to see how much of that I could get back out. So I blew into the grinder with my camera lens blower, and I, I knocked it a few more times. And I might have gotten a tiny bit more coffee out. It's hard to be sure when your scale doesn't um, measure anything smaller than 0.1 grams. And so I will say that the coarse grind looks very uniform with very few fines to my eyes. And this is pretty impressive. Um, not a lot of grinders can do this, especially not the inexpensive ones. Not that this grinder is inexpensive, but it impressed me nonetheless. So if you like to do French press or cold brew, this is a good grinder to consider. Let me scoot this to the side, and this is the medium setting. Again, the grinds seem very even, very uniform. Not a lot of fines are static, so I'm actually very happy with the grinds across the range. If I had one gripe, it's that this is pretty much the finest setting, and that might not be fine enough for some pour-over users. I'm kind of surprised that Fellow decided this would be the finest setting. Although they have said that they're going to make another set of burrs that will grind finer. But I'm not sure why they didn't do it to begin with. 
Now that I have my grinder dialed in, I'm going to use some better coffee. This is lightly roasted coffee from Rogue Wave Coffee from Edmonton, Alberta. This is really good coffee and I just want to make sure that you know that's not the problem here. The problem is the lightly roasted coffees. Uh, see how I got a lot more static and I actually lost 0.5 grams of the grinder. And I wasn't able to get any of that back up. Or maybe I got half um, from 0 0.05 grams to 1, uh, 0 0.1 gram out. So I still lost at least 0 0.4 grams of coffee. What I end up doing is um, there was a recommendation on home based forums. And this is called the Ross Droplet Technique. So I just wet the, the back of my spoon and I just gave it a little stir. And this just adds a little bit of moisture into the coffee. And to my surprise, it worked perfectly. So as you can see, not only was there no static or retention, I think I even got 0.23 grams from the previous coffee back out too. After rinsing the paper filter, this is a Hario tabbed paper filter, I'm going to add 14 grams of coffee and I'm going to pour 45 grams of water for a 45 second bloom. I do want to say that making coffee in front of a camera is a little more difficult, so don't judge my technique here. So I pour 100 grams of water, and when it's about to drain, I'm going to add another uh, pour up to 220 grams of total water. And the total brew time for this particular brew, well I do a little Scott Rowell swirl there just to knock off the fines off the, the sides of the, the filter. And the total brew time was about 1 minute and 55 seconds, which is a little fast, but trust me when I say this, this is really good coffee. I think I will grind just one or two settings finer the next time, but this coffee was really, really enjoyable. While I sip on this coffee we just made, allow me to give you a few final notes on this grinder. For the price of admission, this is not a cheap grinder by any means, but at $300 US or $420 Canadian, which is the current retail price, it does a lot of things and has a lot of features that no other grinder has. It also looks really pretty and comes in a really compact package while having really big 64mm burrs. In case you're not sure why this matters, bigger burrs grind coffee faster and it tends to be more uniform. The concern with this grinder is that it may not grind fine enough in all settings for everyone. And I will have to see how the break-in uh, affects the burrs, but that seems to be the one Achilles heel for this grinder. It seems to be grinding fine enough for pour overs for me, but just so. And so if you're doing anything other than pour over or mocha pot, definitely not espresso, this grinder will work really well for you. For everyone else, you may have to wait and see or you may have to budget an extra set of burrs. My wife really likes the look of this grinder and I have to agree. It looks like a statement piece on our kitchen counter and it's short enough where it's very easy to use under the cabinet. I, I don't imagine anyone will have problems. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a follow-up video. And feel free to ask me questions on Instagram. I go by the same handle and I will reply to you if you if you send me a message there. Feel free to also share your experiences about this grinder if you happen to own one as well. 
I, I really like to compare notes. Hope you have a great day, and Hebrew you.